Hello and welcome to Chimney.org on YouTube. I have been on a brief hiatus mainly because I had to travel to Australia for some training work. I've been running some Power BI training courses for a, a company in Melbourne and that's why I couldn't uh, release uh, a YouTube video last week. Uh, but I hope the wait was worth it because today we're going to learn a very interesting formula technique to convert a 20,000 lines text data into 500 lines. Okay, while you may not have this kind of a very specific problem anytime soon, uh, the technique is really interesting and worth exploring. Uh, let's just uh, first understand the question. This is actually a question posted on one of the popular posts on Chandu.org, which is a technique for combining text that is in multiple cells using formulas. So this is uh, that technique and uh, it's quite popular. It's published all the way back in 2014 and even after five and a half years people still read that and comment on it so one of the comments that i got last week is from chris he says i have 20000 rows in one column in excel and i need to concatenate every 50 rows okay i did say 500 but uh, let's just do 50 like the way chris wanted i don't need a separator i don't have a column header uh, I after 50 rows are concatenated in one cell I need the 49 remaining rows to be deleted so that in the end I have a column with 400 rows and in each row I have the 50 original cells concatenated how do I go about it what's the easiest way so we will see that I think uh, this should have been 400 lines okay so the way to do this there are a couple of techniques in this video i will talk about formula technique in the next video i will talk about power query technique for taking 20000 lines to 400 lines both are worth exploring and learning and can be used in some very different situations the first one is to use formulas you do of course need a modern version of excel that could be excel 365 2019 or one of those later versions of excel which has access to the text join function okay if you do not have text join you may still be able to do this but it would require significant amount of work so we will say text join the idea is simple there is no delimiter as he said and we will say uh, false for empty cells it doesn't really matter though and then we will pick the first 50 cells so start from b5 so we shall go all the way up to b54 so that's 50 cells for you and then we will keep the references relative just as they are and we press enter this will give you a concatenation of all the 50 cells all right and then what we will do is we don't need to do this again here we have to do this after row number 54 so we, we we have done up to that point and we need another formula here so what we will do is we will copy this formula scroll down to that cell and paste it there okay in fact if you want to do it like this you will be forced to do it 400 times so here is the technique that i i suggest you to do it which is remember the cell 54 and go to that cell here and then select that and then go all the way back select the first cell so now you have selected 50 rows okay at this point if you were to double click uh, if you were to drag this down all the way down to the 20,000 rows I did say double click but I don't think double clicking would work uh, in a desirable way um, and then if you drag down this will take a while because we are now scrolling through 20,000 rows so I will fast forward that bit and when you go all the way down just let go and what this does is it will fill up the formula but it will also fill it down in the pattern the pattern is first cell has formula 49 cells don't have formula and then formula again and then 49 more cells without formula so every cell that has a formula because of the relative references will take that cell and then go down 50 cells stop there and then all these other cells will not have a formula at this point your job is done all you have to do is now select this entire bit which can be um, 
like that you can use control and arrow keys to select the whole thing because we only needed the concatenation we don't care much for the formulas like that's what chris said right he wants to combine and then delete the text uh, the like original text so we will copy this and then right click paste over as values so we just replaced the formulas with the values at this point it's done all i have to do is remove all the blanks so again while keeping this uh, selection on we can press f5 key to go to the go to box and then click on special click on blanks to select all the blank cells so this would select all the blank cells but the formulas will the the cells with the text value will be there at this point if you press ctrl minus it will pop up the delete cells box and then you simply say delete entire row and boom the thing is gone your original text can also be deleted and you will end up with a file that looks that takes the 20,000 rows and then gets you to 400 rows so this is a technique the key idea here is the pattern aspect of formula filling so whenever we fill down formulas or anything we tend to think if it if it has a cell has a formula and if you fill down it will fill down that formula all the way through but if you select formula cell and a few blank cells and then drag down it will repeat that pattern so excel has that powerful feature that can be used to solve these kind of tricky situations i hope you found this helpful i do have another video on the same topic which is going to be published soon after this video so do check that out if you want to know how to take 20,000 lines down to 400 lines through Power Query. That might be very useful, especially if you do not have text join function and uh, you want another way out because Power Query does work in Excel 2010, 2013, and even 2000, uh, probably not 2007, but yeah. So it, it is available in all those versions, so you can use uh, Power Query to get the similar result. Talk to you in that video. Bye-bye.